Hey everyone, this is my Christmas huzzah to you. We're at the end of the year, we've kind of made it. Uh, I think I'm doing okay. I don't know if you've been catching the updates on Twitter. I don't have full vision right now. I haven't for a while. Doing the best I can. If the edit on this looks bad, you'll know why. But I'm going to have myself an eggnog, uh, raise a glass. Oh, we can't have eggnog without um, a little bit of nutmeg on top, right? Yeah, some of you have seen this a while ago, right? Uh, we mentioned it on, God, on Twitter, on Instagram. You haven't probably seen it on Twitter also because uh, I am officially, what is Elon calling that shit? Deboosted. I am uh, shadow banned because I had links to Mastodon in my profile. But anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about things like the little butterfly knife, uh, you know, microplane and other, other projects. Uh, that was made for me by my buddy, Mr. Snow, who is an absolute treasure of a human. If you don't know, Mr. Snow makes... Uh, on Instagram, on the gun, the gun world, not a, not so much on YouTube. He might be leaving YouTube because it's it's hard out there for gun people. But he made this on a whim, based on an idea I had, and I think it's a two part lesson in community and creativity and the hacker mindset. One, if you can think it, someone can do it. That someone could be you. But someone you know can do it. Being in a community of incredible, talented people means that ideas just spring to life. And a lot of my projects this year could not have come to life without loads of people giving me feedback and tweaking things and adding designs and such and such. Which leads to point two. Not everything you do needs to be monetized. <laughs> And Mr. Snow, I mean, you know, he is a free markets and free minds kind of person, right? He's, he's a businessman, but he understood, you know, people, people hit him up. They're like, where do I buy this? I want one. He's like, dude, it's 3D printed. I'll put the designs out. Just make your own. You know, he's got shit to do. He's got a family. He's got gun stuff to make. He doesn't have time to like make these and sell them. Not everything needs to be sold. And that's really been the crux of most of my projects. I continue to put things up on GitHub. I continue to like, sure, some stuff ends up on Red Team Tools, right? Like you find it there. But everything I make, it's fine to just let people make their own. If you have a cool idea, the first thing you do with it, in my opinion, is put it out in the world. And once the community takes hold, maybe people make it, maybe they don't, maybe you sell it, maybe you don't, but like selling your shit shouldn't be the first thing you do. Just making it should be the first thing you do and then sharing it. Beyond that, then life takes over. May, who the hell knows what happens after that? But that's why most of my stuff continues to be on GitHub. Most of the things that trickle out onto Red Team Tools, I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff about Red Team Tools in the new year. I've, got, I've been adding so much stuff and people have so many questions about things I've been making. That's fine. But again, like look for it on my GitHub. If you want to just make it yourself, make it yourself. Um, I'm not doing this like endeavor to, to retire. It's, it is an artistic creative endeavor for me when I make shit and Mr. Snow is in, in a similar vein. A lot of us are in a similar vein. So keep that hacker mindset in your brain. Um, it's sometimes my stuff that's like out in the world. People have to, are you afraid of giving stuff away? Like what if someone tries to monetize it? That's not what you want. I'm like, yeah, like, you know, I, I ask people not to. Um, and some of them are, people in the, in the hacker world, right? Someone like somebody found something, a cool idea, and they printed up a few parts and they were going to sell them. And somebody reached out to me. They're like, Hey, uh, isn't this your design? It's on Thingiverse. Isn't this your design on this way? And I wrote to some here, here and there, I'll write to somebody. I'll say, Hey, just so you know, um, I, I made this, I released it creative commons. That's not for profit. That's not the intent. And people have been super cool. They're like, oh man, I didn't even know where this design was from. That's so cool that that's yours. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'll sell these couple that I sold. Do you mind that they want to get them back from the customer? I'm like, no, don't get them back from that customer. But like, no, and people pulled their their design down. Like, cause that's, that's not everything has to make a buck. And even the stuff that we sell doesn't really make a buck because our prices are pretty damn ass low. Yeah, we are consultants and trainers and educators first and foremost. Everything else comes second. So if I make something, I'm going to keep sharing it. If you make something cool, share it and I'll boost it however I can on Mastodon, not so much on Twitter, but that's the idea. That's my holiday wish for you. Uh, we haven't had, um, 
Yeah, the best year. No one's had the best year, right? There's a lot going on, but just keeping keeping this kind of stuff in mind makes me want to stick around in this community for you know the near future. So hopefully I can see you all brighter uh, in 2023. Hopefully you're with friends, loved ones, and good spirits. So salute, be well, stay safe out there.